This is the 775 DC motor with shaft diameter of approximately 5 mm and has the rated voltage of 24 volts and the maximum voltage is 36 volts. The rated speed of the 775 motor is from 3500 to 7000 RPM revolutions per minute. This RPM depends on the supplied voltage. A 12 volt DC current is 0 0.14 ampere and speed is 3500 rpm 818 volt dc current is 0 0.15 ampere and speed is 4500 rpm 824 volt dc current is 0 0.16 ampere and speed is 7000 rpm unlike other dc motors the 775 motor has got these two wires and when connected with desired voltage, the shaft starts spinning. The direction of rotation can be controlled by swapping the voltage wires. Now things get a little complicated when it comes to controlling the speed of 775 DC motor because in market we have different types of low cost and expensive motor drivers offering low and high current ratings. This is the L298 and dual edge bridge motor driver. This motor driver can be used to control DC motors that have voltages between 5 and 35 volts with a peak current of up to 2 amps. As this is a dual edge bridge motor driver, it can be used to control the speed and direction of two DC motors at the same time. Now let's take a closer look at the pinout of the L298 and motor driver. This module has three terminal blocks. This terminal block will be used for motor A and is clearly labeled with OUT1 and OUT2. This is where we connect the two wires of the DC motor. This terminal block will be used for motor B and is clearly labeled with OUT3 and OUT4. While this terminal block is labeled with 12 volt ground and plus 5 volt. The 12 volt terminal is used to supply the voltage to the DC motor. This voltage can be from 5 to 35 volts. The ground terminal is connected with the ground of the external power supply and is also connected with the ground of the controller board, which in my case is the Arduino board, which is based on the 80 mega 328 microcontroller, while the plus 5 volt terminal will be connected with the Arduino's 5 volt. As you can see this motor driver also have some male headers and are clearly labeled as ENA, N1, N2, N3, N4 and ENB. The ENA and ENB are used to enable both the motors. We can use jumper caps to enable both the motors and the motors will rotate at their maximum speeds or we can connect the ENA and ENB pins with the PWM pins of the Arduino and this way we can control the speed of DC motors. The N1 and N2 pins are used for controlling the direction of motor A while the N3 and N4 pins are used to control the direction of motor B. For the demonstration purposes I'm going to control only one motor. Now let's take a look at the circuit diagram. The two wires of the 775 motor are connected with the OUT1 and OUT2. The positive and ground wires from the LiPo battery are connected with the 12 volt and ground contacts. 5 volt from the Arduino is connected with the 5 volt contact. Make sure the ground of the L298 and motor driver is also connected with the ground of the Arduino. The ENA N1 and N2 pins are connected with the Arduino pins 10, 9 and 8. The middle leg of the potentiometer is connected with the analog pin A1 while the other two legs of the potentiometer are connected with the 5 volt and ground. I connected everything as per the circuit diagram. My interfacing is completed and now let's take a look at the programming. I started off by defining pins for the ENA N1 N2 and potentiometer. I set the ENA, N1 and N2 pins as the output and potentiometer as the input. Inside the loop function we are simply reading the potentiometer then we map the value and then use the mapped value to control the speed of the 775 motor. 
in one and in two as you know are used to control the direction this high and low combination runs the 775 motor in forward direction and if you change high into low and low into high then the 775 motor will run in the reverse direction so that's all about the programming I have already uploaded this program let's watch the 775 DC motor and the L2918 motor driver in action support me on patreon for more videos I hope you like today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching